So, we are out here with the P1B1 Sky Voyager, uh, except with a twist. This is one that uh, Ross Clements converted to radio control. So we've got rudder and we've got elevator. And the way it works is you've got a little uh, mini vapor brick here, uh, 1S30 battery, and he ran carbon push rods back here. He's got uh, shrink tubing guides uh, at regular intervals. For those, um, these are I think 020 carbon rods with um, um, 015 I think it is uh, wire ends on them. So pretty sweet setup. So what we're going to do is show you the first footage of a small uh, or micro RC, um, I'm not going to be able to do that that direction because I haven't staked this down. That'll be interesting. Yeah, we're kind of rednecking this tonight. That's okay. And what rubber did you use? Oh, yeah. Uh, we're running four strands of 1-8. Um, so, a little hotter power setup. And... Why am I using this giant overkill winder? Because my other winders are not really taking this uh, um, four strands of 1 8 too well. In fact, we've got a stripped gear in our uh, Jaga winder because of that. which the old tan rubber that uh, winder did just fine on four strands, but anyway. Just say I thoroughly lubricated this rubber and it is a slimy mess. So the reason I'm doing this is Ross is over in England right now. Um, gallivanting around the English countryside playing with airplanes over there and we needed this uh, airplane at a flight demo so his solution was well I'll send it to you and you guys do it and we're like cool opportunity to play with a one-of-a-kind airplane so let's see if we can do this You can see it climbs with authority on that amount of power. At least for a little while it does. Kind of strange just being able to track straight outbound into the wind with a, a rubber model. Um, so I have a question for you. Yes. Um, for somebody out there that um, they are newer to, ru to rubber powered, um, is that a patch of lift? What would be the advantage to converting at least um, the rudder and elevator to So, uh, RC? the big issue is, um, I mean, this airplane covers a lot of ground um, as, a, as a free flight airplane. So, if you convert it to, to RC, um, you can keep it on a, a much smaller field. Um, 
So kind of it would. Let me give an example. Of kind of it would be kind of like a DT system. Yeah, I mean. Deter de thermalizer system. <laughs> that was a sloppy catch. Um, yeah. So the thing is, um, we didn't get a chance to video this earlier, but uh, earlier I was out hunting, actually hunting thermals with this airplane, because you know since it's. Um, radio controlled, and you know, I can track off one direction, I find lift, pour into it, climb on up there, and, you know, I, and typically on a, on a rubber model, um, you hit lift like that, you hope your dethermalizer is going to kick in and bring it down, uh, and that was particularly strong lift. On this, if I get in strong lift and it's time to come down, I just point it straight down, and I can just keep it there until... I'm ready to pull out. I mean, obviously there's some speed you don't want to exceed, but uh, I think the, the airfoil on this wing does a fairly decent job of preventing you from getting uh, too far down that rabbit hole. Um, so, so the bottom line is a, an airplane that ordinarily you would not be able to fly on a small field, now you, you can. Um, it's completely silent other than the, the faint noise of the, the servos. So it's great in, in that regard. Um, I mean, basically it allows you to fly a high performance uh, rubber powered airplane in your front yard. So. Now, you wouldn't be able to try this on any rubber powered. Well, I mean, in theory you could. Um, you know, some are going to be a lot better suited to this than others. But yeah. in theory, virtually any good, solid, free-flight design uh, could be converted this way. So, embryo endurance would be fabulous like this. Uh, a variety of other airplanes. The big thing is the amount of, you have to decide how much modification you're willing to make to the airplane to accommodate that. Well, that was uh, not scary, heart-stopping, etc. at all. No, not at all. Um, being strafed by free-flight gliders. No, it's just a foam board. It's still a free-flight glider. I'm going to marry your airplane. That's not Mommy. even your airplane, that's mommy's. Yes, you should be, sorry. <laughs> Um, so, let's get a little bit more here. Um, you know, the, the big thing is this, this completely changes how you would do free flight, or sorry, how you would do rubber power. And, and so, those of you that, that love your rubber powered airplanes, um, but, you know, you don't have, a spa have space to do it, now you you've got to play. You can do it anywhere. So uh, let's. Uh, yeah. There we go. Now one thing I've been wondering is. And the other thing is. Um, I can't quite do a loop with it. Oh well. The other thing is some, in some places, um, they have basically banned the use of. Um, where you light a fuse, fuse timers. Yeah. Um, to use as a DT system, so they're going, they're making you do electric, um, either electric timers. But this could probably also be another option. Um, yeah. I know some of you out there, some of our viewers out there, you're, you're gonna be upset about that because you're, you know, you want to be strict to the rules of. And, the way and it used I, to be flown, I, but... I get that. I mean, I am a very traditional uh, model airplane flyer. But, um... But I know we've had some viewers that are like... This is a game changer right here. You know, I've had, we've had some viewers that contact us and they say, Hey, all we can have access to is a small... Um, field at our local park to fly in and so you know they can convert something like this mm -hmm. and not have to worry about losing their model yeah because 
and you can do I mean you can do this with any airplane this one is particularly well suited to it because the airfoil is yeah. very friendly to this type of thing um, it's an inexpensive airplane it's very uh, you know you, you build it quickly uh, and basically and explain to them what was it you know what kind of what was the only thing that they that he had to do? So the, the only thing, put, so know. he had to hinge the tail surfaces. This is uh, blenderm tape hinges right here, and so you cut this and bevel it uh, so it will clear uh, there. Same thing with your your horizontal stab. You insert little control horns here, drill a little hole, and then up here, uh, Ross did. I, I think he may he laser cut those little plywood mounts, but I mean you can. There are a million and one ways you could set that part up. Um, and then you just run those push rods back and so you've got the shrink tubing at regular intervals. This just guides for this so that it doesn't flop around and buckle too much. Because, I mean, even this unsupported length here, if I press on that, you can see that that uh, push rod buckles up there a little bit. Um, but, you know, the, the control loads are very light. So, you know, it's it's, it's pretty easy way to do this. And, and you get a really nice flying airplane. You can wander around, have fun with it. Um, you know, if you get up in a thermal, you can get up enough speed and you can do basic aerobatics. If you wanted to do aerobatics with a rubber-powered airplane, just because, you know, it's it's actually capable of doing it, um, you get pretty good flight times. Very easy to fly. Um, very forgiving airplane. I'll have to have Hope fly it at some point, because it's just kind of, you know, you let it go and you kind of steer it around. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I, I think it's a, it's an innovative way to do free flight. But it's one of those things that if you're going to fly this in competition, make sure that... Well, you, um, can't, you can't use RC in, in a competition. Yeah. Um, now, one thing you can do is, that, that, is a, that is perfectly acceptable is for competition, you could do a um, radio-activated dethermalizer. Yes. So, uh, that being said, I am all for the idea of saying that you know, for uh, on a trial basis, let's see what you could do with having um, rubber-powered RC competitions for small fields. Because I know there are a lot of clubs that are having trouble finding big enough fields to fly on, and this kind of solves that problem. Um, and I, I get it's not pure; it's not the the way we've always done it. But um, there are now four of us in the world that I know of who are doing um, rubber-powered RC. Because there's um, a fellow up in um, uh, Manhattan who flies out of a, a soccer field in Manhattan, um, surrounded by skyscrapers. And he flies all of the cool, old, and modern uh, rubber models, very high-performance stuff, you know, stuff that'll do... Uh, six, seven minutes in dead air, and he flies it up there. Um, and, uh, of course, Ross is doing it. Oliver Sand, who is uh, um, now in college, uh, the FAC wonder kid, as some would, have call, would call him, um, he did all of the stuff that I did with FAC scale models, except he did it at a much younger age than me. Um, And that he's flying uh, rubber-powered RC now. So, um, and of course Ross started this, and now I'm doing it. Um, Ross can make anything fly. And trust me, you're about to see in, in in the coming days you're going to see something out of Ross that's just mind-boggling. Several things out of him that are mind-boggling. Let's see. Okay. All right, so we'll make one more run at this. That's hands off right there. I mean, you just let it go if you want to. It's very nice altitude. Coming up on about 100 feet there, I think. I don't know if that's lift or not, but...
crop fold at about 35 seconds that is, I guess. Clear that uh, power line there. That was uh, about 80 seconds right there. So, uh, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, just to close out, these are available without the radio control on our website. $25 each uh, is the current price. We're trying to keep it down at that price uh, permanently. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, great airplane. A few people have said the instructions are Chinglish, whatever. Um, you can build the build this thing out in no time at all and, and make it fly, which is better than you can say for 90% of the rubber models out there um, that are that are in that price range and, and, and whatnot. And this thing flies amazing without the radio control even. So um, I'm Josh. You've seen Caleb. Hope is behind the camera. We'll see you later. Two on that because we launched you unhooked. All right, here goes. Guys, make sure you always hook up the battery and check the controls. Yeah. All right, here goes. You gotta turn right. There we go. Keep that uh, turn coming. There we go. And I'd hang a left. Pull back on the stick a little. Nah! <laughs> the walk of shame. You did better last time. <laughs> True. <laughs> Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.